Hi guys, this is Isen. Welcome to the second part of the Triton information videos about the lab. Um, I want to show you this time how to work with the ECS, the error correction sheet. Um, this is something a follow-up about when you have done a test and the follow-up what to do. Um, it's quite easy, I will show it to you because we already uploaded it so you can download it in the download area now. Um, let's go on and see how you do it. We're going on show for this tank to get the results. Okay, so um, now it's like um, when you get a new evaluation, um, you will also receive an email. So you don't need to check every time on here to see if there is a, a ICP test or HPLC test done. The computer always, when I upload something, will tell you directly, send you an email and tell you uh, there is an ICP test for this aquarium for example and it's the ICP test and it has been downloaded uh, uploaded so you can have a look um, now we go and look and you should know all this stuff in here I explained it last time and now you have all the red and yellow warnings and the summary is down here so now the new thing is when you get a warning for example for the copper you also would get the page on the ECS on the error correction sheet where you should look for um, the same counts for calcium is page 4 and the boron is page 5 I will show this in a few seconds um, but this is quite nice so you don't need to search too much um, and you just directly go where you want so we go for the download area and this is the downloads area where the error correction sheets sits you can just click on here and depending on your browser it will open up or download it um, you should always have in mind um, that you should look on the version of this um, sheet because we will always upgrade it um, as soon as we de develop something new or we find out something new because we're doing a lot of science uh, we will also change this PDF maybe you should need to do something else um, then before or we have something found that binds copper or something and then you, you should do just have a look at, uh, uh, on the version if you haven't downloaded the older version uh, maybe the first version and we have there is one year um, uh, gone by like then please check the version that you're not doing like the old things and always are um, on the latest version for this PDF. So let's have a look how it's looked like. I prepared it in here. This is the Triton error correction sheet for ICP OES version 1.1. Um, and you directly can see that we singly view every element. And now you also know what is HG, it's Quicksilver, or Selenium is SE. It's quite nice. You can have a look at them. Um, also, this is the page so we had copper on page 3 so let's go for the copper and now we're on page 3 and I can see the copper is here and it's saying red to high do this so um, the copper is a special one so just let's take the titanium um, the titanium is said red to high do four times 15 percent weekly water change with pure or recommended salt and we will have also a recommended area soon on the website where we, where we write which products are uh, also non Triton products are recommended um, to use for a Triton system um, you should just do that uh, what is written in here um, one thing more is if you have a red sign for example in titanium or in lead or whatever and there is nothing happening to the tank so you haven't had any problems or something you shouldn't overdo it you know it's not too good to have lead in the water but if even if the computer say it's red and your tank is looking unbelievably pretty you shouldn't change anything you just run on or maybe to be a bit careful do one time 15% weekly water change but if you're having really big problems or problems with the corals like um, STN or RTN or whatever um, you then please do exactly what is written here because it is in our opinion the best thing you can do to your tank um, 
The same thing counts for the yellow signs, too high and too low and stuff. Um, if there is no problem, you should be aware, but if it's yellow, you really don't need to do anything. You know, so um, you just be aware and check where the stuff is coming from or where you have a contamination from or whatever, but um, don't overdo it. You don't go crazy on this sheet, please. It's just red because it's a nice color to show problems, okay? Um, Good. You can see also there are slight different things even in uh, the heavy metals. Copper is one that um, there are some discussions about. Um, copper actually is dangerous for corals, but also is needed for them, but in a very, very slow, uh, very low amount. Um, also, copper in some systems that are not Triton, for example, zero systems will be dosed into the water. So it is not really relevant if this is showing up red in a zero system because you always will dose copper into the water to bleach the corals in a zero system. And um, then this is not relevant to do detox or whatever. This is just relevant for systems are not doing the bleaching stuff. Um, you also should have in mind with the copper the same thing that is counting for the rest if everything is all right you have not not one coal that making you some problems you shouldn't go crazy on the copper you just do um what we tell you in here when you have real problems so let's go on um with the macros and the dosage amounts because this is also very important um let's see we have the sodium in here so there is no uh no dosing for sodium uh, in this uh, in the Triton method but um, when the sodium is too high or too low you always should check the salinity if something is going wrong the magnesium there is dosage and you all know that the magnesium um, bottle is concentrated but there is not too much magnesium in there um, the problem is um, when something with the magnesium is wrong and it's too low and the dose is recommended sometimes the amounts are very high so let's say you need to the computer is saying you dose two liters of magnesium please don't dose two liters in one day you uh, have a maximum amount of dosage per day is 50 milliliter on 100 liter display tank so this would be let's say for a thousand liter tank 500 mil a day so you don't, you, you, you may not go over this 500 mil a day, so you're forced to do 500 mil four days to get to the two liters, and this is the right way. So um, this is counting for every other element also. So let's say, again, you have 1,000 liter of tank, you have 500 mil a day maximum dosage, you need to have two liters of stuff into your tank, the computer is saying that, so you need to do four times 500 mil in four days and you are at your goal. Um, you can see they are slightly different from each other and you should always have in mind when you do a dose in something, look at the maximum dosage of every element. Um, also, I would like to show you one thing more, is about the special group and this is the iron group. This is in here. They have slightly different signs. They have a bar over here, which is red or green. This is because um, these elements are only measurable even with the ICP OES um, in exceed in seawater because we can't measure them down where they would be uh, in seawater. This is also written above. Um, so you need to be careful with them. We recommend chromium and cobalt only dose them. This is a dosage that is made up of feeling you will only see when you have overdone in your tank um, with this test so you should be a bit more advanced when you want to dose them um, the iron one is not too dangerous so you can dose iron if you want it is a green sign over it, about over, um, over it in here but um, please uh, just be aware with all of them when there is coming up something that you can see there was cobalt or chromium or iron in the water just stop the dosage please directly and for chromium and cobalt you then really um, if you have problems should do also what is written in here 
and it's fine. Um, there is one thing more. Yeah, um, you also can see that some of the elements are written not when you're red, red too low or yellow too low is written dosage possible. That means um, it is not really recommended, so not really needed, but it's possible if you want to dose it to get uh, better results. For example, the vanadium or the zinc. Um, this uh, is not with, like for example, the iodine. We recommend the dosage of iodine when it's too low. Um, this is a big difference between them. So you are, this is your choice if you use this elements, but you should really dose this one um, when it's too low. I think you should just have a look and if you have still questions you just email us or get a contact to us via forums or whatever um, and, and, and look if there is something I need to explain still. But I think this is quite enough and um, have fun with it mates. Cheers.